have taken one key space question from the chapter circle class 10 well the question says ankit visited a mall with his father and uh, he sees three shops situated at point pqr as pqr and as it's shown in the figure to purchase the things according to their need now other information which is given over here is the distance between p and q is 8 so this distance p and q this distance is given 8 so let's write this as 8 centimeter we have this distance as 8 centimeter and uh, that of between q and r is 10 so q and r is 10 so we'll take this as 10 centimeter between q to r this is 10 given here and between the shop p and r is given six centimeters so this length this length is given as six centimeter so let's say this is if i write this as six centimeter now further it says that consider o b to be the center of the circle and we have to answer the questions based on this information if i read the first question it says find the radius of the circle well if I look into the diagram and considering that uh, this what is given here that this QR is passing through the center so technically I can take QR as the diameter but it's not necessary that uh, diagram also should be given like this so consider we we are not given that uh, that QR is passing through the center in that case what we are going to do is to apply converse of Pythagoras theorem Look, what is the sum of the squares of two sides? If I say PQ square plus, well, let's find out their values only. What is PQ square here? 8 square, and that is 64. And if I say what is PR square, that is 6 square, which is 36. And if I say QR square, it comes out to be 10 square, which is 100. So from here, you can conclude that the square of one side is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides of this triangle. So by applying converse of Pythagoras theorem, I can say side opposite to this, which is angle P, will be 90 degree. Now, if I say that, if I say that this angle is 90 degree, if I say that this angle is 90 degree, so therefore, you know that angle in a semicircle is right angle. So now I can declare QR to be the diameter. QR is or diameter. So if QR is the diameter, therefore the length of QR, which is how much? QR is 10, right? That's what mentioned in the question. QR is 10 centimeter. So QR is 10 implies the radius. The radius is what? Half of the diameter, which is 5 centimeter. We got the first part and the correct answer is this. Now let's read the ne next part. It says, the next, which is second part, measure of angle QPR. QPR, yeah, we have already found out this to be 90 degree. QPR is angle P only, and the correct answer is 90 degree. The third one. For the third one, what we have to find out is the area of triangle PQR. So we need to get the area of this triangle. Clearly it's a right angle triangle and area of a triangle is what? Half base into height, right? So we can say that area of this triangle, whatever the triangle it is, that's half into base. So I can take uh, the sides as it was given eight and this being six. So these are base and altitude. So it's half into base, which is eight into altitude six can reduce by four times. So that comes out to be 24. It was unit as centimeters, so it's centimeter square. 24, yeah, D is the correct option in this case. The other part, the length of the longest chord of the circle. Well, you know that the longest chord for a circle is the diameter, and we have already obtained the length of the diameter. The diameter here is 10 centimeter. So for the next part, that is fourth part, the answer is 10. That is option C. Now in the other part, I can, in the last part, I can see we have 
we are asked to find out in this figure PSQP is known as so it's PSQP right so this is P S Q and then P back right so this is what this is the area between or the region between a chord and its corresponding arc so it's a segment right and as you can clearly see it's the minor segment here so the option for this will be minor segment no no this one B part minor segment now further they can also ask you one more question related which I find important and they may ask you the quadrilateral formed by line joining these P Q R and S so this would be considered as a cyclic quadrilateral as all four vertices are on the circle other questions related to this could be the area bonded between let's say P Q R S P P Q R S back to P in that case it will be a semicircle right